Hi there, and welcome to this short demonstration for F5's managed rule sets for the AWS WAF. These rule sets can be quickly and easily applied to your AWS WAF instances, your AWS application load balancers, or even AWS CloudFront, offering an additional layer of protection against a range of malicious threats, including bots, OWASP top 10 vulnerabilities, API threats, and common application vulnerabilities and exposures, or CVEs as they're commonly known. So in the demo, we're going to be highlighting some of the types of application attacks that can be mitigated using F5's OWASP top 10 rule set, which provides protection against the top 10 most critical application vulnerabilities currently posing a risk to applications globally. More specifically, we're going to be demonstrating protection against three types of attacks, an SQL injection attack and a cross-site scripting attack, both of which are forms of injection attacks, as well as a server-side request forgery attack. In the demos, we'll be using the DAM Vulnerable Web Application, or DVWA as you might know it, which is essentially just an application that has been purpose-built to be vulnerable to all sorts of different types of application attacks for demonstration purposes. For each of these attack types, we'll be showing an attacker trying to exploit this application without a WAF in place, and then again with an AWS WAF with F5's OWASP Top 10 Managed Rule Sets attached. So let's dive into it. First of all, we have the SQL injection attack. Now this is an incredibly common attack that injects malicious SQL code into an application, causing the SQL database to either return information that was not intended to be displayed or to alter the records in the database itself. If executed correctly, this attack can result in sensitive data such as user lists or private customer details being compromised. In our demonstration, on the left-hand side, you can see the attacker injects an SQL query into the unprotected DVW application, with the goal of retrieving the names of users as well as the MD5 hashes of their passwords. As you can see, this attack is successful and yields the data for various users. Now, on the right-hand side, if we repeat this attack on the same application that is now protected by an AWS WAF with F5's OWASP 10 rule set attached, you can see that the attack is immediately blocked by the WAF and the attacker is unsuccessful. So moving on to the second attack, we're going to demonstrate a server-side request forgery attack. And this attack exploits another common web application vulnerability that allows an attacker to induce the server-side application to make requests to an arbitrary domain of the attacker's choosing that could be either internal or external. In doing so, attackers can force servers to create connections with internal-only services to obtain sensitive data or conversely, it could force the server to connect with external systems to leak that data. So kicking off the demo, again, on the left-hand side, you can see the unprotected application and the attacker is browsing through available files. However, instead of selecting one of the suggested files, the attacker manipulates the page URL such that the app returns a file from another web application that they're not allowed access to. As the external app is unprotected and susceptible to this vulnerability, it processes the request passes it to the internal application, which unknowingly returns the requested content to the attacker via the external web application. If we then replicate this attack attempt on the protected application on the right-hand side, you can see that the AWS WAF with the managed rules in place immediately detects a threat and is able to thwart the attack. So moving on to the third and final attack that we're going to demonstrate, and that is a reflected cross-site scripting attack. This is another type of injection attack in which malicious scripts are injected into a link for a trusted website. And this link is then shared with legitimate users via the likes of scam emails or compromised social media accounts, for example. Because the user thinks that the link is legitimate and can be trusted, they click it and open the website in their browser. At the same time, the malicious script is executed, which begins capturing private user data like cookies, session tokens, or other sensitive data like usernames and passwords that's retained by the browser, and it sends all of this information directly to the attacker. Now in our example here, the attacker has crafted a malicious link that extracts sensitive information from the web page upon rendering. We can see that when a user enters the malicious link, the script executes and sends the user cookie information to the attacker as a log in their Pipedream tool. In reality, they could then use this to impersonate the user and act on their behalf. So if we then replicate this attack on the, attack on the app that is protected by the AWS WAF with F5's managed rules, you can see that the WAF detects that this is a malicious URL and blocks the user from executing this web page request, thus again immediately thwarting the attack. 
So that concludes the demonstration portion of this video. And as mentioned earlier, F5's managed rules offer protection for much more than just the application vulnerabilities shown in this demonstration, and include API protection, bot protection, and protection against publicly disclosed vulnerabilities, or CVEs. If you're interested in learning more about any of F5's rule sets for the AWS WAF, head on over to the AWS Marketplace where you can find more information or contact an F5 sales representative via f5.com. Additionally, if you'd like to see how quick and easy it is to attach F5's rules to a new or existing AWS WAF instance, take a look at the demonstration linked in the video description below. Thank you.